I'm going to call out myself on this video. And you've got to listen to me very clearly. I used to think that the desert was a barren wasteland with nothing to see, no animals, no vegetation, and just couldn't be farther from the truth. I'm here in the place more known by the tourists as the Devil's Throat. It's a part of a park here in San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. And man, I'm taken aback. Like, really, it will not make any justice to this place whatsoever if I show it to you. Because just seeing this landscape 360 and the energy that comes with it. And right now, I am here on top of a hill with this cross. It's my only companion here on the top of the hill. And the only sound that I can hear is the stream over there, down there. That's the stream. I was down there just a few minutes ago. I crossed that stream back and forth. I felt the water for a few minutes. I threw a little, a, a little water on my back. And yeah, because it's a lot of heat as well. It's pretty hot. I feel so much energy being here and I feel so happy and I just did a short saying that this for me is like being on Disney World for adults because I feel so energized and it's so amazing to be in a place like this that I'm not even really eating anything and we came here by bike so we rented a bike and it was like almost an hour to come to this park by bike and man I really wish I had a GoPro camera because I wish I could film everything over here. It's so amazing. It's it's really utter, otherworldly. You know, I'm pretty sure that George Lucas brought the Star Wars crew to record some footage here in Chile because there really are some things that are, they look like they're from another planet. We'll go to Death Valley or Death Canyon, something like that. It's also called the Mars Canyon. And this place is a place that NASA brings their Mars rovers to test them because the, the environment looks, it's like the most similar place on Earth to the Martian environment, which is pretty cool. There's also the Moon Valley that's pretty close to the Mars Valley. And here in San Pedro, we're about 2,500 meters of altitude, but it's the driest place on Earth. The Atacama Desert is the driest place on Earth. So, and it's funny because ironically, this won't happen to me, at least in the next few days, but here is the best place on the fucking world to see the, the sky, the night sky. So the stars, the constellations, and that's why they have a bunch of gigantic telescopes over here. So they have an European telescope. I'm pretty sure they have an American one as well to monitor the stars and try to figure out things from outer space and the universe because they have such a great view of, of the stars and they have a very clear view. But ironically, Something that usually I think was awesome is going to to be detrimental to seeing the stars because we came right at the time of the full moon. So the full moon, there was just too much light from the moon. So you can't really see the stars because the moon outshines them. But hopefully we'll be able to stay for another few days. We're going to Bolivia soon to the Salar de Uyuni and that'll take us a three or four days anyways. So hopefully we'll be able to see the San Pedro de Atacama sky because man, if you've never seen it, Google it. It's amazing, it's absurd, like really. It's, and I haven't even seen it yet, but when you see the pictures, you'll see what I mean. Because it's, it's like, it's, the sky is almost white because there are so many stars. It's bizarre, really. It's, it's fucking amazing.
And now I'm going out. I'm going down this this little hill full of little rocks and the stream over there. Man, amazing. Like really, I, I can't stop saying fuck, fuck, fuck and other curse words in Portuguese and English because it's so fucking amazing, this place. And I know that I will see other amazing places soon because, oh man, like really, it's it's hard to contain, man. It's so much energy, so much joy of being in places like this. And I totally recommend, if you have the opportunity, man, to go to a place like this. And really, sometimes we overrate places, of course. This one must be one of the best places in the whole world anyways. But probably close to you, there might be a very cool park not so far away or a beach or whatever and being on those kinds of places where you can be around the nature and feel a bit of the energy it's so good it's so soothing it's so it energizes you to go back to work and get on the grindstone again and it also puts things into perspective you see that you really don't need that much to be happy as long as you are healthy, as long as you have a place to sleep at night, as long as you are able to feed yourself and your family and to give them, of course, when you have a family, when you have children, you want to give them the best opportunities that you possibly can. But in terms of like luxurious things, that's so pointless, man, really. This was pretty much free to get to. We ended up having to pay like $5 each to get into this park. And we rented the bike, which was another maybe $7 each. But apart from that, it was totally free. And really, they, they could charge $200. And if they did the right branding, the right marketing, the right storytelling, people would pay for it but I'm glad that they don't and that people don't pay for it. And it's rather, we almost have it to ourselves. Really, there are people are few and far between over here. And I'm so glad. And most of them come by bike. So it's so tranquil, it's so calm. Like maybe you will be able to see some bikers just came by over there in the back. That's where the the devil's throat is and you know it's like a ridge between two hills and that place as well was so awesome like there was no sound at all the only sound we could hear was our own footsteps on the sand and it was so amazing like i told my girlfriend a moment like stop and then she stopped and i was like listen Listen to the sound, or actually the lack of sound. And it reminded me of that song by the Depeche Mode, that I really love the song. And I know that many of you might have heard it already. Like, oh, come on. It's, it's, it's from the 80s or something. Like, of course you did. Your dads must have heard it. Enjoy the silence. And, and really, I hadn't even thought of the lyrics until now. But they have, they really have everything to do with what I'm doing here. Because it says, um, how was it again? Um, all, all I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in my arms. Words are very unnecessary, they can only do harm. And it's like being here in a place like this, man, it's so magical. Like, just enjoy it. Like, there's no other place. Like that other song right here, right now, there's no other place I'd like to be. And yeah, I, I don't even remember what the hook was for this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. 
And yeah, bro, it was probably about calling out myself because I thought the desert was just a barren wasteland and you'd have nothing to do in a place like this, but it's totally so far from the truth. And for anyone that's thinking about it, and especially if you live in a rich country and you are paid in a hard currency like dollars or euros or pounds or whatever, come to South America, man. There's something here, especially on these, these Andean countries, squished between the mountains and the ocean. That's so special, so much energy. Probably has to do with the Pacific fire belt or fire circle. But yeah, there's so much energy. You can feel it coming from the sun, the mountains and the ocean magical really magical the desert and if you have the chance just come just come feel it for yourself and it's actually pretty cheap if you get your money in hard currency and also a call out on chile chile is very expensive compared to its neighbors so keep that in mind as well but yeah and if anyone's thinking, well, he's Brazilian, he should tell people to go to Brazil. I think most of you already want to go to Brazil anyways. So I, I'm just giving a shout out to our neighboring countries, our little brothers, because they also deserve to be visited a lot. And I think also that's the reason why I like it so much over here, because they have things that we simply don't have in Brazil. And... It's nice, like the altitude, for instance, is something we don't have in Brazil at all. And it's really nice to, to be in a place like this. It's very energetic. It's very soothing. And wow, I feel so, so psyched. Like when I have the chance, when I have the time, I'll be able to write and do so much things that will help you guys because I've, I'm so inspired, man. It's like the floodgates have been opened.